Articular CAD Electrical can not only produce detailed schematics, it can produce single line diagrams, pneumatic drawings, hydraulics and personal instrumentation diagrams. In this example we take a look at single line diagrams. AutoCAD Electrical is project based, which basically means you can analyse more than one drawing and have cables or buzz bars or wires going from one page to another and cross-referencing being shown. Let's just open up this drawing. And I'm going to draw a cable or buzz bar. We'll choose our cable type. And we'll start inserting components. AutoCAD Electrical is context sensitive, which basically means if we right click over a cable, it only offers cable commands. When you place a component down, you can enter a description as to what the component is doing. You can also assign manufacturer and part information to the component. As standard, AutoCAD Electrical has with the extra content from Midas and Cadline out of the localization software has over 800,000 manufacturers parts. When installing the product you have a choice as to which manufacturers you want to install. Of course you can also add your own components and these can be imported through Excel into the Microsoft Access database very easily. I'm just going to add a part in here and we can do partial searches on particular manufacturers parts and as soon as we do you'll notice technical data is automatically annotated into the component if we change our wire type or cable type we can draw from a connection point and it will automatically pick up the connection point and draw down if we add further components Again, we can add a description and assign manufacturer's parts information if required. You can also search on technical data about the product. So it may be that you're searching on a particular kilowatt range. Right click to insert another component. By defining location boxes, location boxes define where the equipment is located. So as in this example we can say this is in cubicle A1 and in a multiple compartment cubicle. All of the components in that box are now in that area. Repeating the process for the motor pump room and external. The motor is now in that particular area. If we wish to copy a circuit, very easy. But unlike vanilla AutoCAD, when you copy a circuit, this will automatically increment the component tags up to the next available numbers. If we decide we want to change a location box, instantly all of the components within that area have now been updated to cubicle A2. Very quick, very easy. When a cable or buzz bar goes from one page to another, we can add what, what's known is as a source arrow on the end. Just entering a unique code, plus bar 1. And then if we go to the next drawing, and draw another buzz bar, we can connect those two up. A 
as you can see automatically cross references from one page to another and we can navigate from this destination to the source arrow just by right clicking over and vice versa let's now add some cables We can obviously enter a description for the cable and we can also assign manufacturer and part number. Again it's very quick to add your own equipment in. You can filter on a similar component. And if you highlight over a component you've, you can add a new component based on the information of the one that you're highlighting. If you add an additional component at a later stage, you can also look at previously used components to make it easier to pick a component. We can easily align things up by using the align command to make it more aesthetically pleasing. Now we'll have a look at reports, we'll have a look at a cable summary to begin with for the project. And you can see instantly I've got the cable details for the entire project. This information can be saved out as ASCII, Excel, Access, XM, XML, CSV. The report format is customizable and you can also put the information on a drawing if you wish. So as you can see there's all my cable detail up above. Let's have a look at some of the other reports. We might start with a bill of materials, normal tallied format. But on this occasion what we're going to do is include installation documents that are required for the OEM manuals. As you can see these are all the installation documents. This could be a PDF link of course on your server. Go to a bill of materials again, this time we'll do in a tallied purchase list format. And that's quantified by manufacturer and part number. Finally we'll include all of the component labels. And those are all my component labels which I can feed into something like Viedmuller's print jet system.